Oh, I didn't see you there. Come join me, won't you? Thank you. Hi everybody, I'm sick, I've got COVID, and this is what I look like when I'm feeling lazy. <laughs> <laughs> now just because I have an uh, influenza-like respiratory illness doesn't necessarily mean I can stop making videos, and it also doesn't mean I can s I have to stop making music, so with that in mind, I thought I'd be able to make a video today about how to take care of oneself one's health and wellness. Uh, I have over the years developed a list of good techniques and good things that even I forget but it is amazing to remember. Now in previous videos and in future videos you've seen me um, or will see me uh, dressed up and that's uh, uh, kind of like a magic, the AV. There's a whole bunch of things going on here that you have no idea. For example, you don't even know that you're wearing headphones. Guess what? You kind of take it for granted that I can just make a video and put it on the internet and that's what reality is. But uh, there's a whole bunch of other things uh, going around behind the scenes that you have no clue about what goes on one of those things is, is my health. Uh, it kind of just basically boils down to the fact that there's a whole bunch of external things that are always going on and uh, it's important to be able to exert some form of control over it so that I can get things done. And the things I can't necessarily control I can at least experiment with and see if I can exert some form of self-control so that I can work with these uh, um, variables. For example, it's daytime and I've never really done a shot, um, a video shoot with daylight outside. So here's something that I'm just experimenting with and who knows, this would actually turn into something really good. Something that I could do is at least work with time and create space so that I'd be able to do what I need to do. And a lot of the times I don't even feel like doing what I need to do. Um, I have my own particular rhythm and my own particular style that I'm self-aware. I also have responsibilities outside this place that uh, help enable this to happen. So again, I try to exert an influence, uh, say yes to a whole bunch of things, and say no to a whole bunch of things. Uh, say yes to influences and opportunities, or say no to some people. Basically, I have an internal locus of control, and I try to make things work by interfacing with the rest of reality. You may already notice that I've got an impaired voice. Uh, I've been sick for about three days now with a lot of uh, rhinorrhea and uh, sore throat and a chest tightness and um, yeah I've called in work and I'm deliberately not straining my voice but I do believe again an experiment that you'll be able to hear me even with the reduced decibels um, something that I know I can control now if you're particularly interested in my current situation with my physical health, I am going to zoom in to the back of my throat at the end of this video. So if you don't want to see it, don't watch the end. Something else quite simple that I can control is sitting up straight. <laughs> and that's something that even as a kid I hated doing. It looks better, opens up my chest, uh, and that way I can breathe. When I found out that I had classic influenza-like symptoms, illnesses, this respiratory upper and lower tract infection, I immediately called work. And uh, thankfully, I belong to an organization that recognizes that when a person is sick, that they shouldn't come to work. 
uh, I also pay it forward because I work in the healthcare industry and they know that I shouldn't be working if I'm sick. Conversely, when people are sick, they come to my hospital and I'm very happy to work with them. Um, I have my own personal protective equipment. My job is being great for supplying me with that and I have the knowledge and experience to be able to help people. Lastly, about the gratitude about where I work is that um, they uh, enable me to be able to uh, have me live independently, financially well enough so that I'd be able to use my leisure time in doing these creative pursuits. It's very meaningful for me and now that I've got this little bit extra time off, uh, I'm definitely using it very, very well. So how do I look after myself as a musician? Uh, well, I've got the time off. Uh, there's the things that I can control and then there's the environment I can control. There's the time that I can control. Um, and there's priorities. Um, there's also uh, the um, health aspect, but there's also a wellness component to this health that's really important. Um, interrelated uh, decision making hour to hour day by day basis that makes me healthy um, something you've already noticed is that I look like this and that's because I haven't looked after myself physically today I haven't showered I haven't shaven I'm wearing meh clothes uh, some of you may have already noticed that there are things that I have done that have been successful um, time and a little bit of spirituality this has got its own particular story that I think I'll make a separate video about. So, number one on the list, hygiene. Number two on the list, I'd have to say, is nutrition. Uh, I like to eat well. Uh, I also like to drink fluids. Aside from water, I also really love drinking black coffee. No sweetener at all. But with this, Tea is definitely the way to go. I've had two cups of this amazing Lavazza coffee. I would even love Lavazza to be a sponsor of mine. Um, but uh, I definitely need tea in this particular situation. Um, kale, great for fiber. Bean pasta salads, something that I can create in a large pot. Instapot and um, put together and have two tubs full that lasts me a week. This meal prep is easy. So when I wake up sick and uh, want something to eat, I have something already prepared. It, that was a game changer. Uh, I also like making little egg cups and storing a couple of tins of those in the fridge too. So essentially just get up and go. And again, get up and go. I uh, I don't use any other medications except for something to help me sleep because of my shift work uh, and a lot of multivitamins. Now something that I have done in the past which made me feel fantastic on a day-to-day -day basis and something that I've kind of not done for months now is exercise and go outside and run. That always felt great. I mean I'm looking outside right now and everything's melting. Uh, I have the shoes and the gear and everything ready to go. Uh, I just am not going. And I know I'm going to get back into it. Um, I have created playlists. I've got the headphones to be able to do it. Um, the fact that it's minus 10 outside, I've, I've gone with minus 20 and I'm fine. Uh, it feels fantastic afterwards. In fact, I might even use this as a impetus to get me running again because uh, as part of a recovery, if I hit a low gear and start going uphill, I'm going to be super fast at the top. One last thing I should mention about my physical health and nutrition is uh, I love to eat before I go to bed, and that's not good. <laughs> it's also not good for your, my throat because all the acids and whatnot eventually does affect my morning voice. Also, the things I eat could also 
uh, hurt me if it's too spicy for example um, other people consume alcohol and I haven't done that in like five years now um, that can screw up your day and your life I also don't smoke anything um, I've had tobacco cigarettes in the past I, I never got addicted uh, some people smoke like 20 a day and oh my god I don't know I don't know how you manage just the disgusting smell and the mess and the money that's gone and just ew unless the smoke is there to like cover up a fundamental problem already uh, in which case you're gonna have to fix that fundamental problem anyways so yeah several birds with one stone I already have a problem with ash and that's with my stove um, as amazing as it is it creates a lot of ash like there's a lot of this stuff and that's probably not good with my throat um, I don't use it all the time this winter actually has been the least amount of times that I've used it uh, I have a little bit of a shortage but mm, being a bit more environmentally conscious of me uh, there's several other no-brainer ideas that uh, kinda if you set things up it just flows naturally uh, one is to make sure you have easy access to everything and that way you can achieve a state of flow through your day I wake up and I go to the sunroom where it's nice and warm in winter time and I can read. In fact, I'm almost done Dave Grohl's book. It's been pretty good. I'm learning a lot about the guy. I'm simultaneously reading a book about uh, Chris Cornell. That's also really illuminating. I'm going to be doing a video about vocals for that soon. I should mention uh, I do have Gracie Lou, a pygmy goat, and Sometimes she'll wake me up because she wants uh, some food. It's snowed and it's covered everything. She's got her hay, she's got her uh, oats, uh, she's got her salt lick. So I go outside making sure I've got boots and a jacket and everything right at the door so I can just put it on, go outside, look after her, make sure she's okay, give her a little bit of attention, and then come back inside and make sure that uh, I've got everything that I need to look after myself. I also should recognize that Gracie, if it wasn't for Gracie, I'd be cooped up indoors all the time. <laughs> it's cold outside. Uh, sure, I get acclimatized, but uh, having to look after Gracie three times a day is good. Also, going outside because of Gracie, um, it makes me take a look at my vehicle, which is outside as well. I do a quick inspection. Uh, when I go get the hay with the pitchfork, I take a look at the horses and the donkeys, the lamb and the sheep, make sure they're okay, and we interact. Like a pet therapy almost, thanks to our neighbors. Uh, the landlords here are fantastic. Um, and then, yeah, come back home, make sure I can take care of myself as well. And mm, appreciate coming indoors. <laughs> nice and controlled the environment is here. Heat, running water, electricity, uh, stove top fridge, laundry, uh, lights, and I create the sound. And speaking of sound, I think that that's one of the easiest, most simplest things that you can do is just to make sure that everything is ready when you need it. One thing that I've always worked with is the one yard rule, uh, or meter. Make sure everything is within a meter. I got things that I need. A pen microphones, cables, switches, instruments, my beautiful instruments. Notes and notation. And an iPad with a strap. I've been carrying this thing around like more on than off. And I can control this all with flips of switches. In fact, uh, it's as straightforward as you can't make noise if you don't have it in front of you and it's not turned on. So, what do I do? Have it in front of me and turn it on amongst the first things that I do in the daytime.
big switch here. On. And you got noise. Actually, it's three switches, but you get the point. There's exercise, but there's also rest. I make sure I get at least eight hours of sleep. I can do that. Got the wherewithal. I've got the environment and the family situation where I have a lot of peace and quiet. And it's so nice. It's so nice. So, clean sheets, clean clothes, um, clean linens, and a nice quiet environment that's dark enough. And I also put on a little bit of YouTube without commercials to help me zone out when I fall asleep. Uh, sometimes I wake up and I'll again fall asleep. It's just nice to have something in the background. Typically comedy. Uh, a lot of Mystery Science Theater 3000. <laughs> I suppose that's a good uh, departure into think about the mental wellness that uh, I also try to foster in myself. Having that peace and quiet so I can be reflective and journal and write out my ideas and such. Um, having that environment, um, but also having a positive space um, and being in a good mood. Comedy, videos, that sort of thing is really important for me. Uh, social connection is important for me. Uh, putting out these videos and getting responses and looking at them is important for me. Um, going outside and taking, uh, uh, doing some photography with the nature uh, out here in rural Alberta is important for me. Catching halos, catching rainbows. But then again, I always was a nature boy. Scouts. Um, yeah, it's a part of my mental health and wellness. It's something that I need to take in, absorb, and makes me feel better, calmer, happier, and ready to take on challenges. Uh, imagine, oh geez, being stuck inside a city where it's all like wet cement and too many faceless people and there's all this traffic and noise. No, no. In fact, I may even be spoiled now that I'm living out in the countryside. No sirens, no emergencies friendly neighbors, pet therapy with farm animals, fresh air, again, non-smoking. Um, yeah, yeah, places to go for exercises, no have to bump into people or be too cautious. Um, yeah, good. And luckily it's affordable for me too. Um, I've got that financial wellness because I've got a well-paid position in healthcare. Um, I feel good for helping people. Um, I am able to pay for renting here, and I'm also able to purchase a few things here and there that uh, allow me to make music and do the things that I find that are important for me in my leisure. And I got a whole bunch of leisure. Um, different activities, I should say. Uh, I just happened to kind of start controlling them and putting them together. like. Audio and video. Audio video. I love reading books, uh, so I'll be checking out a book of English madrigals and challenging myself to record. That I've done. Uh, reading autobiographies about uh, certain um, musical heroes of mine. That I'm doing. Playing with a whole bunch of uh, technical musical gizmos in the form of a pedal train. Uh, or tone controls and coming up with soundscapes that are just incredible that I'm weaving together into a concert theater play that's wonderful and I can continue doing this because I've made it easy for myself because I'm looking after my own health and my own wellness um, and because I am trying to exert control over what I can despite sometimes being sick now I have to say that it'd be a lot easier if I had other people looking at after all this and that way I can focus more on myself and my leisure. Or if my um, career was in music and I'd be making money from this, but things 
as they are, I can at least do what I can to make sure that the time that I have now with the resources that I have available in this environment and with my own talents and my own abilities, I can actually do something creative myself. Not fear of missing out, it's you only live once and I'm making changes that I know that I can, making progress and being creative. And so that's the point. Uh, I have already watered my plants. Um, there's a whole bunch of things that I want to do now to look after myself in other ways, um, change my clothes as well. And yeah, I hope you guys stay healthy too. Look after yourselves and take care. Uh, make smart choices for yourself and for other people. Um, you know, look after each other. Uh, and I guess now, if you want, you can see the inside of my throat. Are you ready?